Strong winds blowing in some of those quick moving storms this afternoon. The gusts even kicking up a noticeable amount of dust on I 80 heading into Tooele County. Now, with the potential for severe weather this evening, we're now seeing fire, flood, and thunderstorm warnings all at once. New specialist Lindsay Ertz is live now to run through those. All right, Lindsay, what are you seeing in your area? Yeah, Ashley, well, that's kind of the triple whammy, isn't it? Fire, flood, and thunderstorms all possible this afternoon. And I can confirm it is windy out here with some sustained wind and those gusts, as Kevin mentioned, uh, really uh, making things worse out here. Uh, but really the key here is these red flag warnings. There are red flag warnings all over Utah, which means high fire danger because it's, stream it's extremely dry. And with this wind, any spark is going to accelerate that fire quickly. So that red flag warning is supposed to last through midnight tomorrow. Now there's also a chance for severe thunderstorms in this really spans statewide along and east of I-15. Those could bring wind, hail, heavy rain. We've already seen some of those pop up as Kevin mentioned in Kane and Garfield counties. Now another thing to pay attention to flash flood prone areas. We've also seen some of those pop up today. Those will include national parks, slot canyons, and burn scars. Officials are warning. Make sure you know the weather before you head into these areas. Definitely pay attention in those slot canyon areas. Now, we've also seen some localized flooding in southern Utah, where we know it's just really dry, and these fast, intense storms, you guys, overwhelm these areas with water. Now, up north, the wind and the threat of severe storms is going to be the story this afternoon. We've seen how these storms that just dump so much rain in just a small amount of time can really impact people. So definitely worth keeping a heads up tonight. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, I'm Lindsay Ertz. I'll send it back to you. Lindsay, thank you for that. We